We're talking about proof loading today. Hi everyone, Craig Simons here from Carl Stolsava Industries. Today I'm joined by our senior manufacturing engineer, Ed Nugent. Ed, glad to have you today. Thank you, Craig. Nice to be here. So, Ed, before we get, before we begin, tell me a little bit about yourself. Absolutely. I've been here as an engineer at Sava Industries for a little over 15 years now. Uh, I, have, I have a bachelor's of mechanical engineering from Lehigh University in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and a master's of mechanical engineering from Stevens of Institute of Technology mm -hmm. in Hoboken, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. um, here at Sava, I try to do a little bit of everything and help out where, where it is needed. Um, that can be application engineering, where I speak directly to a customer and help them find the solution to an issue they might be having, mm -hmm. uh, as well as help out on the assembly floor whenever is necessary. Um, I've designed and made fixtures for the inspection department to mm -hmm. when, when they're checking cable assemblies, um, as well as help out in the tool room. Well, you're also an expert on proof loading and pre-stretching cable, which is is why I'm excited to talk to you today. Let me first start by asking, what is proof loading? Proof loading is an operation done to a cable assembly where it's loaded, the cable is loaded to 60% of its rated breaking strength. Mm -hmm. um, and that ensures that constructional stretch is removed from that cable assembly. Why is it so important to perform the operation? It's important to perform that operation. Um, it's really dependent on uh, the customer's applications. Um, essentially, you want that done in mission critical applications. Mm -hmm. uh, so, lifting a garage door, what have you, uh, you don't need to worry about <laughs> pre stretching or proof loading your cable. Mm -hmm. However, if this were a cable were going to a surg surgical robotic where somebody's on an operating table and they n want to ensure that that cable is going to actuate that medical device um, or that surgical device. Uh, you want that you want a proof loaded cable assembly um, there okay so what happens is when a cable gets constructed uh, to the naked eye it looks like that cables tight to all tight together uh -huh. uh, it's actually not those wires and strands of the cable are very loosely nested to each other oh. um, and proof loading uh, cable assembly will pull against that cable assembly and get all those wires and strands to kind of find their place right next to each other. But proof loading isn't the only operation that we can perform. The cable can also be pre-stretched. Um, what's the difference? Uh, that's correct. So essentially in the operation itself, uh, there is not much difference. Mm -hmm. Both in proof loading and in pre-stretching, the cable is loaded to 60% of its rated breaking strength. Okay. The main difference is that uh, proof loading is done to a cable assembly, whereas pre-stretching is done to bulk cable, whether it's 10 feet of cable, 100 mm -hmm. feet of cable, or 10,000 feet of cable. Okay. Uh, so is one better than the other? Uh, for myself, I believe here at Sav Industries, proof loading is better. Uh, as it's done to the complete assembly itself. Mm -hmm. And we can ensure that the customer is receiving the assembly they need, as well as it ensures that there's minimal handling uh, from removing that product and putting it into its application. Okay, is there any risk in handling the cable or the cable assembly? Absolutely, the more you handle, um, a proof loaded cable assembly or pre stretched cable. And uh, when I say handle, I mean picking it up and flexing it and mm -hmm, things like mm -hmm. that. Uh, you're going to remove the benefit uh, of, of proof loading or pre stretching that cable. So all that constructional stretch that you removed uh, in bending and wiggling around, it's going to cause that cable to relax again and just kind of go back to its previous state. So then with, with the stretching of the cable, with removing that constructional stretch, there's, there's, there's other kinds of stretches in the mechanical cable though, isn't that right? Absolutely. The constructional stretch is an artificial stretch. Mm -hmm. uh, and within mechanical cable, it kind of behaves like a classic uh, material on a stress strain or load versus dis displacement curve, mm -hmm. where 
once that constructional stretch is removed, you'll have a linear elastic region and then a nonlinear plastic region. Mm -hmm. um, so constructional stretch occurs at the very beginning before the linear elastic region and itself is a nonlinear region. So when you pull against the cable that has not been uh, proof loaded or pre-stretched, you're not actually ensuring that you're going to pull against your load. You might just be pulling against the cable itself. Oh, okay. And by proof loading the cable, you remove the, the possibility of that occurring. Correct. I see. Okay. With proof loading, pre-stretching cable, you know, what themes do you typically see with this using different cable diameters, different wire constructions, you know, or, or any other factor I might not be thinking of? Um, well, as mentioned earlier, uh, you want to keep your handling to a minimum. That's probably the most important thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the higher the wire count or the higher the construction of the cable, mm -hmm. um, the more constructional stretch you'll have in that cable. So a 7x19 or a 7x49 construction will have more constructional stretch than, say, a 1x7. Oh, okay. All right. Anything else that, that typically occurs? Uh, absolutely. When you, when you pull against the cable um, or remove that constructional stretch, the overall diameter is going to shrink a little bit. So if that's important to your application, you, you want to be aware of that. Yeah, well, especially if it's something going in a, a surgical robot where, you know, the, that, uh, that real estate's very valuable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> absolutely. Well, Ed, I want to thank you very much for all this information today. It's been uh, very, very useful. For more information, you can go to savacable.com. Leave any questions or ideas in the comments. You can find us anywhere on social media. And remember, we have a full machining department that can custom manufacture just about anything. Need something you can't find? Let us know. Thanks.